Okay, hello guys. So in this video, I would like to show you how to do Blender rendering using Amazon AWS. Amazon AWS has an amazing instance called P2 Instance that have powerful GPU Tesla K80. In my case, rendering using this GPU can save about 98% of my time. So from 15 minutes per frame become 15 seconds per frame. So it saved my life. So without further ado, let's get started. In this tutorial, I assume you already have some basic understanding on how to do cloud computing between your laptop and your AWS server. If you don't familiar with it, you can watch another tutorial here. There are three important steps if we want to render a Blender file using AWS. First is installing NVIDIA driver and then the second installing blender and then the third is rendering itself here i already in aws console so i will running an instance for this i use uh, ubuntu linux And then for the instance type, I will use GPU and then this GPU P2 X, X large that have 32 virtual CPU and a powerful Tesla GPU. Okay, I launch this instances. Yes, the instance is now launching. Okay, now it's already running. I will uh, name this instance as Blender Rendering. Okay, so it will easy for me to remember this instance. Then let's make connection to this server. Okay, so here I successfully connected to the server. So the first step of doing Blender rendering using AWS is to installing the nvidia driver so we can do it by this i will link all of this code in the description it is very simple and straightforward code so even if you don't understand all of this code you still can do this Just type Y. Let's wait for this NVIDIA CUDA installing process. Yep, uh, the installation process is already done. And then to ensure the installation process is successful, we need to reboot the server. Okay, I will make connection again to this server. OK, 
Okay, we are connected again to the server. To check, we can use this command NVIDIA SMI. Okay, since we can see this table, so it means that the NVIDIA driver is already installed. And then we move to the second step. It is uh, installing Blender. So to do this, we can use this command. Okay, the Blender is already installed. And then we need to install this library that ensure the blender will work properly. Just press Y. Okay, it is successfully installed. So we can move to the third step. It is the rendering process so in blender we have an option to do rendering using cpu or gpu so to ensure that we use the gpu for the rendering process we need to activate this script i have script.py and then i will use filezilla to make a connection we already connected to the server file and then i have to copy this script.py file to the server i can do this easily using this tab using filezilla so here i have script.py and then i just track it to here yeah it is already done it is copied to this folder and then since we want to render a blender file so we have to copy the dot blend file here also okay this is a blender file from mobi motion you can check its channel it is very amazing blender channel i think okay, just drag it here okay so here i already have my dot blend file here let's render this file so this is the command to do a blender rendering so first it is the blender blender means we will call the blender function a blender app and then this b means that the blender will work on the background and then file.blend is the name of the file that we want to render and then p script.py is calling the support script that ensure that we use gpu for this rendering and then this a means that we use all of the setting and configuration that already saved in the blender file so we don't have to do some tweak and i think it is a better way to do blender rendering in aws so my file name is bill okay let's render to ensure that we can leave this rendering process we can use screen function screen is a useful linux function that let you to have some multiple terminal session and we also can resume the session although we close this party connection so we do this by typing screen this s and then naming i will name this screen session as render okay and then i will use this script in this screen let's see 
Yeah. Finally, it start to render. So, if I see from this text, it takes just about again, 13, 13 seconds per frame to render. So yeah, that's all. I will leave this session so that it can render automatically. I can leave this session by typing control A and D. Now I'm going back to the main terminal session. Then I can just close this connection and all of the rendering process is still processed in the background. Just for the comparison, I will show you how long it takes if I use my own laptop for this rendering. So this is the file. It is like this. So I try to render this animation. <laughs> and it takes about 18 minutes per frame. While in AWS, I just need about 13 seconds per frame. So it saved my life, it saved my time, but it is about 98% of time. So I will close this rendering session. Okay, that's all for this video tutorial. Hope you enjoy this video. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to give some comments below. Thank you for watching.